Where did you guys go? Nah. Iker Merchant, wake him up. I need to trade. They got wine. They got gel. Meh. Meh. You like a, some grenades? That's a good idea. Let's see what grenades I have, Necronth. I have... Acid grain, uh, grenade, airfoil, stun gas, explosive, acid, a bunch of sower seeds, and a thermal grenade. I have a pretty okay amount, I suppose, of nades. Eh. I have a good uh, gun. It's a... Electro bow. Hey, Marinerd. Good evening, my friend. Long time no see indeed. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Just trying to make the dream happen here in Cud. This guy is sleeping. You ain't sleeping anymore. I wake you up. I need your stuff. Honey. Meh. Nothing great at the end of the day. Okay. Uh, my weight is at 415. I think then I'm going to go ahead and just... Hmm. I'm going to teleport back to Joppa. And just dump a bunch of stuff. I got too much stuff. Just gonna put it in here. Alright. And let's see. Let me go ahead and open my inventory. Opening a chest. Store an item. Alright. I'm gonna store. That. 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 Let's store all of these carbide weapons. It's set. Like, yeah, shotgun. Uh-huh. Take that. All right, getting there. I have a bunch of cells. I don't think I need too many of these. Okay. All right, now my weight is down to 373, which isn't great, but it should be okay. All I need to do is pick up a wage droid and get out of there, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and charge up my, um, my recoiler so I can get out. Replace that cell. There you go. Let's see, does anything else need a better cell? Fresh, fresh, radio powered, um, I think we're good. I don't know. I hate to be too far over my skis, but I, I think I could try to do Golgotha at this point. I'm level 22. Let me go ahead and bask in the sun. My hunger is sated. Alright, so I'm going to look at the map. Oops, that's not how you look at the map. You go like this. 
And this is it right here. All right, let's go for it. Let's see if we're good enough to do this. Uh, yeah, sure. Check out these ruins. If these are named ruins, then we're going to change our plan. Okay. This is Kibayshk. Well, we can go here then and see if we can get up to the next level. So let's check this out. And we'll explore down below as well. If we find a bunch of books and stuff, then of course we change our plan. We go back to the, the still, turn in the any statues that we find, anything like that. Boy, that two-headed board did not give us the good stuff. Hey, here's some books. All right, there's two. Oh, there's three. All right, we got four books. It's good stuff. Good start. Okay. And we'll go over here. Hmm. There's a chest down there. We'll get that in a moment. And there's a gun trying to shoot me. How dare it. Here's a statue. Look at it. All right. No new secrets, apparently. Uh, these are terrible. All right. So did we find the way down? Oops. Wrong thing. Uh, current location. Oh, my God. I did it again. Current location. Yes. All right, so we didn't find a stairway leading down, actually. So these might just be surface ruins. You know, Gidon, um, I've only seen a little bit of that movie. It's a... I believe that has Denzel Washington in it. I didn't see it very much of it, but it's like a post-apocalyptic movie, I think. All right, we're here. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, let's just go up one. I'm going to go ahead and bask. And we basked in the sunlight. Yeah, book hunting. Looking for the books. All right, here we go, everybody. I'm going in. I'm about halfway. Let's do it. You have finished the step. All right, so I'm going to ask some questions, and this is not meant to be spoilery. I've done Golgotha before, but I died when I got to the bottom. So is the idea that I want to just jump down any shoots that I find and just go hog wild and see how we do, or should I be looking for a staircase? Just reach the bottom through the chutes. Okay. All right. Well, before I drop down then, I'm going to uh, explore the top. <gasps> that would be hilarious. A gyrocopter backpack. You know what that reminds me of? Fading is like, you know, um, Inspector Gadget, like with the helicopter that comes out of his hat. It's kind of what I was picturing. I believe you. That's the thing. When you're talking about Caves of Cud, like, I just don't take anything off the table. I'm like, yep, I believe it. It's probably in there. All right. I'm going to go front and center. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk right over here, and we're going to go ahead and... Um, now, I'm going to use Basque, okay? And we got our quickness, and we got our hit point recovery. Here's another question for you. Do I use the honey and the yuckwheat 
preemptively or are they in response to an illness? Adds disease prevention to cooked meals. Oh, okay. And then... Honey gives you a bonus. Okay. Unit, use it as soon as I get a sore throat. Okay. So it's like you... Uh, do I have the Corpus Colossum book? I think so. Because I had some kind of like fungal infection that I had to cure fading. But I don't know if I still have it. If that's the, the book you're talking about. I don't know where that information goes. If it's just a book that you carry around all the time. Well, we'll just wait. And then once we get the sore throat, we'll go ahead and switch it up. librarian has it. Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm going to drop down now. And what do we see? I see a spark tick. Okay. So, I'm in the garbage chutes. There's pools of liquid which add self-diseasing effects to cooked meals. That sounds bad. So, I guess I'm just following the... Is it a good idea to follow the conveyor belt? And that'll just lead you to the next way out? I have no idea, by the way. Okay, I see this step, so let's go for it. Amoeba on me. Um, I took a little damage from... The vent. Okay. That's unfortunate. And here we go. So we found ourselves some glow white cultists. Okay. Sure. Yeah, don't get near the vents at all, right? Okay, these... Guys are dead. Spooky, thank you. I got a sore throat. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do it. I didn't see that. Oh, I see it down at the bottom, Spooky. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and drink honey right away. Delicious. Did it do anything? The belts carry me. Okay, I see the way out. Let's go. Man, the music in here is really intense. Okay, so should I drink some more? What do you guys do? Do you keep drinking until the sore throat is gone? I drank, I think, a couple of times. Another question I have for you is, um, should I, uh, rest? Like, do you recommend just resting at all, or do you just charge ahead and don't regenerate your hit points? Like, I have a little bit of a lull here. I could, I could rest. Yuck and honey is a daily diet. Okay.
I'm just going to rest. Okay. And we're going for it. And what is this over here? Nothing, I guess. All right, I'm going to fall down. I am too strata deep. It looks like an awfully long fall. Are you sure you want to jump into the shaft? Do I take damage if I fall too far? Should I use a more gradual one, or is it a good idea just to go wild? Hey, Space Cookie. Good, good to see you, my friend. How you doing? I know. It doesn't look good. But I... That's why I'm checking, Gidon. Is it, like, obligatory that to complete Golgotha, you have to fall down a long one? Or can you just do gradual ones? Because if I can look for a different one, I could just go around where the conveyor belts are and not use this. You know what I mean? But if, like, if that was a shortcut, that might be worthwhile. I don't know. You, the way you said that made it feel sinister, so I'm going to try to run uh, over here. Hey, Space Cookie. No worries, my friend. I'm just glad to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, this is... What is coming at me? Scrap Shoveler. Oh, I see. That's where the gyro captor would help because you could you could live through the the fall. All right, I'm gonna run. Thanks for saying that, Space Cookie. We're going we're going for it. I'm in the garbage chute, and I just dove down. And there's a bunch of junk here. All right, there's a bunch of bad guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hmm. I could throw a grenade and try to hit a bunch of these dudes. No, I want to throw a grenade and we could just select here. Okay, he's trying to burrow into my mind. That's that's always bad when they do that. So who's doing this? This the novice of the sightless way. Which guy is that? This guy? Okay. I gotta run into him then. I'm gonna go here. I gotta charge. Cannot charge while in melee combat. That seems unfair. Uh oh. I might just need to run. Even if I'm running though, this guy's gonna zap me for a long time. Uh, I might be dead. I'm going to go ahead and swipe. Yeah. Oh, boy. I tried. Can I recoil? <laughs> this was unfortunate. Yeah, I can get extra speed. So I could sprint. I could just sprint to the the belt and, and keep running. I do have a tonic, right? So, I could go, what, Salve Injector? Hey, Rob. Good evening, my friend. Alright, I think I just go salve injector. 
And then... I need to... Uh, phasing does what? Let me look at this really fast. Can I phase through a person with it, would be the question. You phase through solid objects. So, can I phase through the bad guys, and then... run? Hmm. Okay. I think what I do is I try to phase. Yeah, I'll go ahead and phase. No, no, I'm not trying to bind it. I just want to phase. All right, I'm phasing. And then we're going to go ahead and sprint. The soothing tingle fades. Indeed, that's unfortunate. Oh no! What is hitting me? Okay, I dropped down, but there's another bad guy here. Can I use another tonic? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that didn't go well. Yeah. The, the mental power is what's wrecking me. It goes right through my armor. I didn't expect... I don't... I don't remember seeing them, but yeah, that was unfortunate. Um... So, this is not a mental guy, though. This dude right here. This guy is a cultist. And so he just has, like, claws and stuff. I kind of want to go over here. I don't know how dangerous this is, but... I'm going to charge this guy. Okay, he's dead. I'm going to actually step over here. Oh no! Where did these guys come from? Darn! I thought there wasn't any more enemies. Uh-oh. No! Okay, good point. Alright, so let's use the Uber. Alright, so I'll use Uber, and then I'll try to kill the purple guy. Okay. All right. Hey, Shin, what's up, my friend? The red ones are the killers. Yeah, I have a little will, indeed. All right, so we're still alive, but there is a drill bot. All right. I guess we just... Am I still phasing? I know, me too, Gidon. I'm, like, terrified. Uh, am I phasing? I can't remember. Oh, it has 101 turn cooldown, so I can't phase right now. Okay. How insane do you think it would be to go up to the left where there's, like, off the conveyors and rest to try to regain my sprint and phasing cooldown and heal up to full? Do you think that that, like, is it indefinite enemies, or, or can you kind of, like, pause in between floors like that? Should I expect infinite forces? Or can you clear it out enough where you can, like, you know, try to rest? I'm going to see if I can. The torrent of life sweeps away. Okay, I'm going to go over here. All right, there's a bad guy here. Okay. Let's just see what we can do. Yeah, that's what I want. No crab shoots. I don't need crabs right now. That's embarrassing. All right, kill this guy. Kill this guy. And kill this guy. All right. So, let's see. 
Let me look at my abilities. 89 turns. Okay. All right. All right, let's see here. Is there like a back door? That's what I'm doing, Shin. I'm terrified. Oh, there's another way I can fall over here. Okay. Well, I can get out this way if I need to. I'm just going to keep that in mind, but keep it off my screen. And I'm going to rest. I'm just going to keep waiting. Uh, what is this? An amoeba? Okay. It was a green gel. I'm just going to try to wait for a little bit. Until the uh, my cooldowns are over. All right. Almost there. Okay. Good. We're good. All right. Now phasing and sprint are off of cooldown, and I'm going to drop down to the next level. Okay. So this is where, this is where the wagerroid is, right? Because this is the open room. Uh, that's a burnt capacitor. This is the guy right... Is this it right here? The scrap wagerroid? So all I have to do is run to this and pick it up and then teleport out? Is that correct? Okay. I'm going to... Um, activate sprint. You can't do that while waiting. All right, fine. And I'm going to pick up the wagerroid. I got it. And then I'm going to use my recoiler. Um, I think I picked up the wagerroid. Let me just make sure. That would be embarrassing if I didn't pick it up. There's nothing to take. Then I must have it. I'm going to try fading. I don't know, dude. There's an elevator as well. Okay. I'm going to see if I can. You better believe it. Okay, you can't when there's hostiles nearby. Then fine. We're going to have to fight. All right, here we go. Uh, what's hostile? Everything. Okay. Okay. And let's think. One, two, three, go. I'm going to flurry uh, this dude. Okay. Everything is dead except for this dude. I'm going to run over to the side and try to, like, avoid any other enemies coming at me, if possible. Okay. Okay. There's no enemies on the screen. Can I recoil now? 